Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install Windows XP Professional in VMware. Now, this is kind of like the follow up to the XP tutorial from VirtualBox, um, but this is how to install it in VMware. This is the professional edition. There are lots of editions of VM, or not VMware, um, Windows XP, like Home Edition, and there's even some created editions like the Vienna edition that I've done. Um, as well as the gold edition and the dark edition, black edition, you can name a lot of them. Um, but this is the most popular version here, probably the most used one, the professional edition. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just get straight into the tutorial here. Um, so in VMware, you want to create a new virtual machine, and then you want to browse for your ISO, and mine's located in here, in which I've already got selected. And when it's got, uh, when it's selected. Um, it'll say Windows XP Professional Detected and it also uses Easy Install so when you hit next here it'll ask for um, if you need a product key and this one I don't think it needs one and then it'll ask you to put in a username um, and a password if you want um, so I'll just do everything you can for the name and then next and then it'll ask uh, you did not enter in a product key would you like to continue click yes and then I'm gonna leave this as Windows XP Professional hit next I'm going to store this as a single file, but I'm going to bump this down to 10 gigs and hit next. And then this hardware looks good. I'm going to power this on after the clicking finish. And now it's going to go through the first part of the Windows XP setup. So what it's going to do during this first part is it's going to load all the files and then it's automatically going to format the drive for you. I think it does it in NTFS. I could be wrong though. Um, so it's automatically going to format the drive for you and copy files over and it will restart automatically as well so very very easy first part for this so kind of just let this sit for a while to be in this blue screen type setup here for a little while um, so just let this sit and I'll be back with you guys once we hit our first restart point so we've hit our first restart point here and I barely just got that splash screen in but this is our first restart point it will go into the graphical user interface are also known as GUI and um, it's going to do this part of the setup now and it's going to come up with the installing devices and then it's going to come up with um, a screen I'm not, I'm not sure maybe it does it for you but we'll see here so just let this load for a little while and I'll be with you guys in a minute so it does ask for a product key but you can skip never mind you can't skip I'm joking on that I thought you could skip on this um, so go ahead and type in the product key. I don't know why this one needs one. I don't I didn't think it did, but I guess um it does, but um I'll have a product key link in the description here with this ISO. Um I don't I think in my virtual box tutorial I did not need a product key for this. So this has definitely changed, but uh let me enter in the product key quick for you guys. That'll be linked in the description with it and I'll be right back. So after entering in the product key, it's going to go through installing network, and then um, it's going to just keep going through some setup processes here. So just kind of let that uh, go through here, and um, yeah, and then it should um, install successfully. So just let this process go through, and I'll be back with you guys after that. So here we are on our second restart now. This should be the final restart, and um, it'll get the boot up logo here, and then it's going to, I think it's going to ask something about the screen resolution. I don't know if it does that or if it's going to bypass that or not. Nope, it won't. It's going to ask. Or maybe it did it for us. I'm not too sure. The easy install might be doing a lot of stuff for us. We'll see if there's any audio. There might be, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> nope. Yep, audio works. Um, actually, went uh, past the setup part since we did our username already so 
that was probably a really quick install um, that we just did there but it'll bring it to the welcome and then it's going to eventually get you to your desktop and now what you could do is to get the um, some better screen resolution and stuff you can uh, install VMware tools so I'm gonna wait for the desktop to load completely um, and I'll show you that I believe the resolution is only set to a high enough thing it might have pre-installed some drivers I'm not too sure honestly it looks like it's trying to install something Yep, you see, oh, it's already installing VMware tools. Very, very smart of that. So it says your computer screen resolution and color depth are currently set to a very low level. So it's kind of saying you should change it. So if we go to properties and go to settings, it actually does have the screen resolution to 1920 by 1080. But we're going to install um, VMware tools here and then um it probably will restart automatically so i'll see you guys after the restart so we've just gotten the restart and vmware tools has been installed already um so i'm gonna go and change we can change the uh screen resolution now and um wow it's got a huge resolution change now so you can go all the way up to 30 uh, i think it's like 4k honestly so we can apply and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, if I do 1920 by 1080, that means it's too big. So we'll just revert it. But there you go, guys. That's how to install Windows XP Professional in VMware. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, like the video if you enjoyed. Share the video as well. Comment your um, ideas for future videos on what I should do. Um, I keep forgetting about my Q&A. Hopefully I get that out. I'll probably keep forgetting about it. So hang in there about your questions. So comment ideas down below and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.